Okay, welcome to Energy in Motion. Today is October 29th, and we are just discussing, of course, our good news, but we're also discussing um, some leftover information that I wanted to share today from last night's deep dive, which was on the small universe meditation. So the deep dive, we, it's all recorded and it's all uploaded into the members area. I'm pretty proud of myself for getting all that done this morning. So um, if you want to watch the replay, you can. It's long. It's about 90 minutes, the recording. So we did about an hour, 45 minutes of teaching. And then we did two different versions of Small Universe to try it. I created a handout, a new handout in the members area that is linked to the replay. So you can have a look at that and print it off if you want. And it's like a two pager and it's got, um, it's got a little more information and then some kind of detailed instructions and then the energy center focus on. So the small universe meditation helps to clear up blockages from our two most important energy channels, the front, which is the conception channel and the back, which is the governing channel. And these two channels contain uh, powerful energy points and those energy points actually serve as reservoirs but they also connect to all the internal organs so by focusing your energy on these points that master lynn has taught us to do you're actually helping to heal your entire body because all the energy flows out from those two channels throughout the entire body but those specific points along the front, which is yin, and along the back, which is yang, also connect to all the major organs in the body. So not only do you, you know, open up the front and back channels, but you're actually building energy to support all your internal organs also. So what we're doing when we start is we connect our energy to our lower dantian, and then we visualize, so you would visualize your energy and your generational energy, so like your ancestral energy and, your, um, and the energy from the universe coming in to these points. And then when that's on an inhale, you bring that energy in. And then on an exhale, you guide it down to the next point or up, whatever, wherever the point is. So with each point, Master Lin also chants. So Spring Forest Qigong has four key elements. It's um, breathing, visualization, posture and sound so of course we synchronize our breathing with this meditation in conjunction with the chant we use our visualization to see energy going into these energy points and moving to the next level we guide it and we use posture because we sit up straight our spine is straight um, in level three we did a small universe meditation i talked about this in this group too with our hands our spine, so we sit, we sit more on the edge of the chair, our spine completely straight and our hands kind of gripping our knees. So it's like we're, you know, we're active, like so our hands are active, our spine is active. That's helping you train to go deeper. So if you're just starting out, you can sit or lie down and use the chair to support you or whatever. But if you've been practicing for a while and doing Qigong movements for a while, I encourage you to work on sitting further forward on your chair so you're, or on like in cross-legged position. But you're training your spine and, in, and your, like all the muscles along your torso to support yourself and in this upright position. That actually helps you to open up your third eye. So you get more spiritual benefits when you are sitting with your spine straight, not sort of resting against something, if that makes sense. So it's good, better, best, right? So you don't have to do that, but I'm just showing you different levels and ways where you can go deeper if you choose so. Um, okay, and then the sounds, so sound is the last component. So Master Lin chants Om and Wa, and those sounds happen on each inhalation. And then when he stops the sound, you guide the energy to the next level, right? Inhaling again, your energy, energy of the universe, your master, your generational energy coming into the point, and then you guide it to the next level. So the sounds don't have a specific meaning. It's the vibrational frequency of the sound that actually helps to open up channels in our internal organs. So it's, and, and the sounds actually um, really are 
referring to yin and yang. So it's about this balance. So the sounds are um, important. And so when you're training yourself to practice this meditation, it's really good to listen to the recording the first few times. And then once you've sort of got it figured out and, and are comfortable, then you don't need the recording. And you, cause you can actually hear the sound as you're, as you're practicing in your head. Right? The other thing I wanted to say about that, that I actually didn't get to last night is, so we talked about different ways to practice it. We talked about different, when the best time of day, we talked about all the benefits of it, how it helps with immune and jet lag and confidence and all these things. But the one thing, and then we did a yin form of it, and then we did the regular form. So um, there's two things. So one thing that I didn't get to last night is talking about how, and we've talked about this in class, about how you can spend more time on each point. Um, and I have done this and received great benefits. So often we get blocked somewhere along the front and back channel. It's really common. So if we're sitting hunched over a lot or if we're doing a lot of lifting or whatever it is, or we have um, a lot of anger, whatever it's going to be, that can cause a blockage along the channel. So then subsequently, that's going to impact the organ system related to that channel, which can lead to further blockages, right? Because we know how the five elements flow through all the seasons and the organs that's happening in our body. So we are a small universe that is a part of the big universe. So everything in our body needs to communicate and be in harmony for our small universe to be functioning and healthy. And when we are balanced and whole and feeling like the channels are open, we are actually contributing to the health of the, of the universe. So it really, like you know, I've said this before too, but it's kind of like our responsibility is to really take care of our energy because we are helping the entire universe when we do that. So by spending more time on each point, you can actually help to remove blockages. And I, I sh last night I sh asked a question in the group a couple weeks ago, and she was noticing that she couldn't feel energy kind of in the lower part of her torso, like visualize it. And so I just tuned into her energy, and we found that she had a blockage at the tip of the tailbone, the tailbone area. So when you have a blockage, it's just like the log across the river, right? There's going to be flooding upstream and drought downstream. So the energy can't flow to the rest of the point smoothly, which can lead, lead to more blockages. So by spending more time just breathing in and out of one point, like say, say that's all you did, like say, say we, we found this blockage in her tailbone. For her practice, she could just spend 10 to 15 minutes a day doing small universe on that one, okay, I'm not gonna say doing small universe, breathing in and out of that one point. So it's the same idea. So she starts with her lower Dantian, right? We always start and end there. And then she could slowly move the energy around to her tailbone and then just visualize the same process, breathing in this universal energy combined with her generational energy, the energy of her master coming into that point and then exhaling, seeing blockages release or light come out, whatever, whatever feels good. And you can kind of visualize the, if you're not playing the recording, the OM or the MOI alternating between the two. So she could spend 15 minutes at that point. So that's what I have done. And, and it doesn't actually even, you can do that and then throughout the day, you could work on another point. Like say you're washing the dishes or you're going for a walk. You could just set the intention to breathe into say the next point, the um, lower back, breathing in and out of the lower back. So you don't always have to be seated in meditation to get the benefits from it. Very, very powerful and effective. So I shared with you, I was doing that, I had a blockage in the C7 and I was doing that 15 minutes throughout the day on the points. And I felt all of a sudden after about day five, this huge like whoosh, like huge rush of energy, just like boom, like it totally became unblocked. And I, I, you know, other than the movements, that's really all that I've been doing. 
So it was so powerful. And then I didn't have that blockage there anymore. It was gone. And I didn't feel the need to do the 15 minutes on each point. Um, and then the smile is also really good too. 